Hey guys, I know it's been a minute. Welcome back to the JP with the L channel and I'm back. I'm here and I just want to talk to you guys about some things that I missed throughout this new year. If you haven't seen my face already, happy new year to you all. Hope it's starting out well these first three months that has been of 2022. And today, let's go ahead and get into the discussion. I wanted to talk about the LA team that's running it this year, LA Clippers. I mean, the standings say so. Our record against the Lakers says so. You know, we swept them, got them out of here really quick. And, you know, the Lakers have taken a big step back. And it's just sad to see, you know, LeBron's breaking all these records, making history. Russell Westbrook is just bad, you know. I don't know what the Lakers are going to do. They don't have cap space, you know, in terms of trying to pick up other pieces. They're going to have to trade and try to find a trade if anybody's willing to take on his horrendous contract. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised if we went back to OKC. Like, oh yeah, what's we'll take Westbrook. Just give us some first round picks. <laughs> you know, Sam Presti out here making all these crazy moves, man. So I wouldn't be surprised if that were to happen. I really don't think John Wall and Russell Westbrook would get traded for each other again. It just doesn't make any sense. So the Lakers really have a lot of question marks this offseason. Also, AD, is he really the guy that is going to take the franchise going forward? You know, been very inconsistent lately hasn't been playing to his usual standards that we know him as being a top five to ten player in the league these past couple of years also being super injury prone has hindered him to come back to that level that we know him for so you guys have a lot of question marks this year and I mean this year off season going forward so also like the Clippers you know we have a lot of questions as well you know I feel like the first question that everybody should ask is if we were healthy, where would we be right now? And I don't think that it's a reach for me to say the Clippers right now, PG and Kawhi healthy at full strength with our core would be a top three to four seed in the West. And all NBA fans who know the game and watch the game can tell you that that is true because we have a better team than last year and we were able to keep our guys. PG and Kawhi are on extensions, if I'm not mistaken. You know, PG signed. I believe Kawhi isn't just yet, but... I don't think that he would leave just because he's coming off his ACL injury. And I'm really hoping he doesn't leave if that is the case. So hoping that doesn't happen. See, Ballmer, please don't let it happen, please. But overall, I really think that if we were healthy this year, we would we would be contending for another Western Conference final spot. Hopefully a championship soon enough these next couple of years as long as we stay on the trajectory that we're on right now continue to develop our young guys we will make it to a finals hopefully pretty soon win a championship god willing you know just continue to work hard and continue to push for the championships so second question i really have to ask is where do we really go from here i feel like overall our roster is really good. Tyron Lue has been a great players coach for us. Steve Ballmer has changed the culture so much, you know, from being through all that drama with Donald Sterling, you know, all those crazy comments for him being gone and for Steve Ballmer to buy our team for the $2 billion, yes, because we're a pretty big franchise to be in LA, so he bought us for $2 billion. He's building us an arena. He's changed the culture overall. Such a great owner. He's there at every game, every playoff game, everywhere I see him at the Clipper games when I've gone to. This season and these past couple of seasons that I've gone, he's always there, you know, sitting on the sideline cheering off for the team. And he's a great owner. Just like Mark Cuban, you know, the best owners in the NBA, in my opinion, of course. And it just shows, you know. So overall, I really think that the Clippers going forward, we're looking really good. And I have high expectations. I'm just hoping that we're able to compete for a championship these next couple of years. And that's all we can do, you know, only let time tell us what is in store because we won't know until it happens so this season I feel like we're not going to be able to beat Memphis or Golden State in a playoff series just because like I said we're not healthy and it's not our year it's not our year but to whoever it is you know all power to you I feel like out of the west I really like Phoenix to repeat and go back to the finals I don't know what the Warriors are really capable of just because Draymond's been hurt for such a long time and it had slumped and lost so many games without him because he is the glue guy. Whether you like to believe it or not, he is the piece that makes it all together. You know, he's the best defensive player on the team. He's the anchor. He also is a great playmaker for Steph when he's off the ball, running miles and miles around all these guys with these screens. And he's 
puts it all together. And Clay Thompson, I don't really know if I should trust the fact that, yeah, he, he's back and he's been playing good lately. But I don't know if I can trust the fact that he is going to be, you know, the playoff Clay that we've known. Game six Clay, you know, all this stuff that has happened over the years where Clay has balled out in the playoffs. And I'm almost not sure if he's ready for that just yet. Yeah, he's come back. He's still trying to get his legs under him after missing almost three years of basketball, basically. So it is hard to predict that. So I'm not sure about the Warriors. The Grizzlies, nice up and coming team. I think we all know that. But overall, I really think that the Suns are going to make it back out of the West. And it's not the Clippers year. So to next year and hoping that many more things will be better. But that's my end of my little Clippers Western Conference ramble. I just wanted to talk to you guys and show you that, hey, you know, I love the Clippers. 50 years, no championships is cool. You know, some other teams still don't have championships either. So we're not the only ones. But when we do get ours, I'm going to be the happiest person in the world. I tell you all that so much. It's true. And you'll never stop hearing about it from me. So with all that being said, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you guys all so much. I'm here to stay. I'm going to be uploading a lot more these next couple weeks. So be on the lookout for that. Have those post notifications on. Also check the insta twitter all that stuff gonna be going on twitch every now and then so if you want to go ahead and check all that stuff out links down below in the description but with all that being said it's nice to be back love you guys thank you for being here and i'll catch you guys next time peace